He's whipping up the crowd. I'm not sure they need much whipping up. They've been on their feet for most of this final here at Lakeside. He's still smiling, Mark McGinney. Glenn Durrant, all business. One set away from becoming just the fourth man to successfully defend this Lakeside world title. Is there any way back for the gladiator, Mark McGinney? Or is this as far as it goes? This is the last practice dart, and we're underway to a finish. 11th set, first leg, it's Mark to throw first. Came on. He's looked a little, uh, looked a little flat in the last two sets. I'm wondering if that whooping the crowd up's taking any energy from him. Has to find his best darts and quickly. 46. Not what was required. It's just the way it's gone for him in the last couple of sets. Instead of the treble 19, the treble 7. Just missing by a millimetre. 54. But it's been enough for Glenn Durrant to take advantage. Yeah, he's leaked a few darts out to the left there in big fives. And uh, I say they're both actually throwing a slightly under the tournament averages, which, uh, again, there was a big difference in, in between them at the start of the match. More like it from McGinney. It's a measure of... Glenn Durrant's domination of the last few sets. 85. In the last three sets, the only time Mark McGinney has had a dart at a double was at the double top to close out the 1-5-7. One Otherwise, he's just been a spectator as Glenn Durrant has been taking aim and hitting the doubles. So he's actually been doubling at 100% for the last two sets. It was just that one dart at that one shot. 81. Well, he's on a finish now, Mark McGinney. All he can do is hold his throw, win this set, and then you never know. 121. No, so it can't be done now. One. Good last dart. Leaves him tops when he comes back. Unless Glenn Durrant can achieve something special. Which he could, you know, he really could. Two twelves. 117. How much pressure is on this start at double ten? An awful lot of pressure, but it's pressure the gladiator is equal to. Big dart that. Had to win that first leg after the break. Not just to hold his throw, but just to give him a little more confidence. Seems to have been lacking at the last couple of sets. So we mentioned how dominant Glenn Durrant has been in the last three sets, losing just one leg. Being punished just once, missing double 16 and the double to take out 146. I'm watching Mark McGinney hit back with a 157, but other than that, 100. it's been plain sailing, which is why it was so important that Mark McGinney won this first leg of this 11th set. Those are the averages, and they bear out what's happened 86. on the scoreboard. Twenty-three seventeen now to Glenn Durrant in legs. Forty-five. He's just chuntering to himself a bit now, Mark McGinney, isn't he? 
I'm not happy where his game is at the moment. He's, he's, he seems to have lost that, that will. 140. Well, doesn't help when your opponent keeps doing things like that. The will or the belief? Probably the belief. I'd much rather play poker against Mark McGinney than Glenn Durrant, I'll tell you that. Treble 14 for double 16. But he will be back. 53. For double top after these three darts from Mark McGinney. Treble 18 would leave tops here. Yes, good dart. Now, Glenn was missing these in the early sets of the match. Game Not so much game. now. Glenn Durant, third leg is Mark throwing first. No margin for error now for Mark McGinney. He's two down with three to play. If he's broken here, that might be it. Durham would have the darts. For the match. And I think Glenn realised that then. He's, first time I've seen him say, come on. Got to score big. 96. Susan in the background there and Anne-Marie, Mark's fiance in the foreground. They've been put through it this afternoon, slash evening. He is on a finish. Glenn Durrant. If Mr Fitton's watching this, I think he'll be watching it through through fingers. Yes, Daryl Fitton currently has the £5,000 prize for the high checkout, and this is as good as it gets, the 170. There's not many more pan, more chances to actually uh, achieve that finish now. We did see close, it I think. from Justin van der Howe, the youth world champion in the youth final. What a final that was on Thursday afternoon. The future's looking bright. Great player, nice kid. 140. Playing in the 112. Just needs one treble here. Treble 20 for double 16. It's a bit of a blocker. It is a bit. But he's found a way. And now, to move a leg away from the title. That green bit. 96. Oh, 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 oh. Well, this is must hit. 19 for double 16. Huge dart. 43. You can be excused a little there. The pressure must be immense on him at the moment. Takes a moment to compose himself and then takes aim at double eight. And now double four. Pressure huge on both players. Twelve. Would you believe it? Hits the double four. To hold his throw. Wow. One hundred and no change in expression from Glenn though. Straight back into business. That's what I meant about the poker. <laughs> One 
121. Eighty-four. He could do with two more of those. That will do. That will do. And Marie sensing that Mark McGinney might be just coming back to life. Eighty. You don't want to bounce out any time, but at this stage of a final. 16. She wanted more than 60, so did Mark. It means he's not on a finish. Sure, and they were actually uh, three well-thrown darts then. 59. Not really punished. It's getting a bit twitchy, isn't it, Tony? That's just in the box here. <laughs> One hundred. Then you require 138. Well, it can be done. It can still be done. I'll well, stay there for treble 20, double nine. Big 18 leaves tops if he comes back, but this 80. is set point. Mark McGinney. Oh. So 15 for the bullseye. He didn't want to make any mistake with a big 15. Didn't go for the treble. Went for the big 15, leaving him the bullseye, which didn't quite come off. So, for two all. Oh, this is drama. Seven missed doubles in a row from Duzza. Two at double eight from Mark McGinney to take the set. And to close, to it in one! Set. Mark oh! 12th set, first leg, it's Glenn to throw first. Game on. We thought the story of this final might have been written, but Mark McGinney wants to add a chapter or two. We'd sort of written him off there, but he's only uh, three legs here from, from all square. I think we'd all written him off five minutes ago. 38. And only 38 to start. Set number 12 from Glenn Duran. He is human. Fifty-seven. He'll be trying to forget the fact that he's just missed seven straight darts at a double, Glenn Duran. One hundred. Having only missed seven in the previous three and a bit sets. Yeah, it's one of the strongest points of his game, that's why he's the, uh, the best player in the BDO. 134. Suddenly the gladiator's feeling it. And Durant's feeling the pressure. How will he cope with it? 83. Just in case they forgot what this match is all about, forgot how important it is, and the drama of the occasion, that trophy 26. is in their eyeline every time they approach the hockey, and every time they walk back and collect their darts from the board. I remember thinking several times in a couple of them finals, why are they teasing us putting that in, in view? <laughs> And when I was struggling, especially in the Scott Ways game, I turned around and I saw it, and every time it looked smaller and smaller. <laughs> 85. Then you require 140. To hold his throw. Doesn't need to take it out on this occasion, but he'd like to take at least 100 out of this, for which he needs the treble 20. 16.
93. Glenn, you require 80. Treble 20 for double 10. Usual for Glenn. Oh, no, he's gone tops, tops. There's one of them. Now the double 10. And he hits it. On the first leg. Glenn Durant. Second leg is Mark to go first. Hang on. That's usually a sign of confidence when you go for two double tops. Well, after missing all them doubles in a row, I'm surprised he went that way. 16. Got there in the end, though. That's all that matters. I think that fist pump was aimed directly at the trophy, you know. I'll see you in a bit, he says. 58. It ebbs and flows again. Somehow, Mark McGinney has to find a way to hold here and break the Glenn Durrant throw. He has to win this set or it's all over. 140. Big score, an absolute requirement and a big score is exactly what gladiator delivers gosh how he needed that one hundred and thirty seven needs another one to be honest might get it, you know. Does get it! High-class bottle from Mark McGinney. He was nowhere in this leg, and all of a sudden he has two darts to win it. Well played! World-class bottle, that Tony, wasn't it? He is fighting like a gladiator. Seems to have drifted out of the game. One. He's come back fighting the lad. What's the quote from the film, what you do in life? Echoes in eternity. Well, what he's doing on the hockey might well echo in eternity if he can bring this one back from the brink. One hundred. Somehow, though, he needs to find a break in this set. It's not going to help him, unfortunately. Anne-Marie has been a very calming influence during his matches this week. Just a little message. We saw her say calm down a little bit earlier, as she did in the semi-final against Mikhail onto Buckner, and that kind of worked. But Glenn Durrant, favourite now, to move to within a leg of victory. It sort of uh, looks as if you're saying, uh, twist it. Maybe he's not twisting his wrist as much in his, his action as he, he normally does. Maybe she's spotted something. Ninety-six. Bit of coaching from the sidelines. Is that allowed in darts? <laughs> no. So he won't leave a finish. 83. Six darts from 109 to move a leg away. Treble 19 for double 16 if he wants to do it on this visit, and why not? Treble 18 would leave double 8 from here. 93. That's what he will aim at when he comes back.
Yes. Good pressure from Mark McGinney, but the man from the northeast aiming at the southwest segment of the board. Perhaps he's more at home with a double four. I think he thought he got that. Oh, and now double two. No. It's now ten darts he's missed to move to within a leg of victory. Nerves, nerves, nerves from Glenn Durrant. Mark McGinney. How are your nerves? Oh, he's done it! There is life left in this final. Plenty of life. So Glenn Durrant's not so much faltering across the finishing line, he's faltering just to, to get a look at it. Ten darts to move to within one leg of victory, and he's missed them all. To be honest, at the business end of these legs, these important legs, that's normally where Glenn's at his best. He is a great finisher, isn't he? A great closer. Finisher of matches, he's the best, that's why he's the world champion. Proves pressure gets to everybody. No, it's and you can tell when he's not happy because he tries to swallow his dart. That's uh, something he's learnt from Phil Taylor. When, yeah. when Phil had little problems, he used to uh, munch away on the fly. <laughs> 134. Terrific visits of one, three, four, four excellent darts at the treble 19 from Glenn Duran. He's also a, a very good forgetter, isn't he? Take us all the way. Not to be this time, but the way Glenn Durrant's been finishing over the last few legs, you'd fancy McGinney will be back for that 48. This is to take us into a deciding leg in the 12th set. There was no room for error. So, 18. Here we go. Here we go. Three 16s. There's one of them. And there are the other two. And we are going all the way. A deciding 13th set coming up. And whoever wins this will be champion. Everybody on their feet in the auditorium. Oh, what do you reckon, Tony? Who's your money on? I'm not a gambler and I'm not going to start now, but if this was a boxing fight, it'd have been stopped Whoa. at 6-4. <laughs> he was on the floor, he's got himself up and fought back unbelievably. Well done, Mark. Just to let you know, in this deciding set, and two legs apiece, if we get that far, then you have to win by two clear legs to negate the advantage of throwing first, which Mark McGinney has here. 81. Then, at five legs apiece, if we get that far, it's a sudden death leg, and they bully up closest to the ball to decide who throws first. Just to remind you, in the very first match, 
of Lakeside 2018. Mark McGinney here was taken to a sudden death leg by Martin Adams, Wolfie, the three times former champion. He lost the bully up, won the leg. And here he is into a deciding set in the last match at Lakeside 2018. Tell you what, and in between, Tony, it's been a cracking week, hasn't it? It's just an example of every game this week. There's been so much, so much pressure on the, on the lads and lasses. Fitting that it should end this way. Well, those are the averages for what they're worth, but this is a match right now. 66. It's all about who's going to win, not who's going to score the more flashy or impressive darts. Still, Mark McGinney's checkout percentage at 51 is staggeringly high for a match of this magnitude. Mark, you require 114. To move ahead again. Treble 18 for tops. Then you require 49. 17. For double 16. Two darts for it. For the breaker throw. One dart at double eight. 33. Where are those doubles, he says. 56. I've never needed them more. 56. So, to hold his throw, McGinney. Double top. Game yes! The Second leg is playing to throw first. Game on. Back in the lead for the first time in five sets. But One. Durham One. shows his considerable class. Finding another gear at the start of this deciding set. We had seven perfect darts. Mark McGinney still has the chance to take out the perfect leg of darts. And still. And still. One hundred and forty. But he'll take a 140 given the match situation. 181 after six starts. Chance to break, perhaps. And a chance to move to within a leg of a title that seemed so far away 20 minutes or so ago. He will be first to a finish, Mark McGinney. Because Durant, with that 45, has left 176. That's the first time I've seen Glenn actually look rattled. Treble 20. Yes. 140. Outstanding Mark pressure from Durant. You'd expect nothing less, but this is for 2 0 in the deciding set. Two darts at double 12 for Mark McGinney. Oh, double six. Yeah, he has hit it. Suddenly, Gladiator is a big, big favourite to lift the title. McGinney with the darts, one leg from the title. No one has been closer today. 46. It's happened again, though, that big release of energy after such an important 
double, and then he follows it up with that. 46 after after going 2 0 up. Big cheery give himself. It just took a little out of him, I think. Still needs winning. And basically, Darren's nicked the darts in this leg. One. Just sometimes when the players are throwing, you can hear a pin drop at leg side. There is real, real tension. I think that was Joe. Mark McGinney's brother. 85. Can hardly watch. We can hardly watch up here, and we're paid to. We've got to. <laughs> You're getting paid for this. What a time this would be to hit the big checkout. Sixteen. Glenn He's actually got six darts for it if he wants them. No, he misses the second treble 20, so we'll move across to 18s, and that is an outstanding visit to the hockey from Glenn Duran. Two 18s when he comes back to break straight back. 84. Then you require 36. Oh, where have the doubles gone? Game that the was point. much needed. They know it. They know it. He knows it. And we're back on throw in the deciding set. Darren Holt here, we're into a tie-break, as we were in the first match 16. of the championship. Forty-one. No, no, he says. There was a small chance. A small chink of light. With Darren only shooting 60 with his first visit, but this one's not 18. much better. That was a good dart. 18. Tony, how easy is it to ignore the situation? 58. You, can't, just... you can't ignore it. You can't ignore it. It's all instinct now. It's got, it's got this close. I've been in this situation a couple of times, and... Uh... You can't plan ahead, you, it's instinct, you just that leg, that treble, that double. It's all in the moment now. Well, in this moment, and at this moment, that was huge. From Durant. Gladiator storm straight back. Oh, he's been doing it all day, getting the crowd on their feet. Twenty-five or ball with his last dart. One hundred and five. Good thinking. Ninety-two. Let me require one hundred and sixteen. This is for two all in the deciding set of the final. Sixteen for tops. Oh, he's missed big 16. 84. And if you were wondering whether they feel pressure... That dart proves they do. This is for the match. This is for the title. Can't now be done. Oh, it can. Treble 20 and ball. 94. Then you require 32. In a normal dart match, you'd put your house on this. But this isn't a normal match. Oh, 
must hit double four. McGeady thought it was in. Two fours, no, no. Match dart. Mark McGeady. Durant can't believe he's missed those darts at double 16, eight and four. This is for the title. No, and now it can't be done. No score. He's decided to bust it. Surely now, Glenn Durant will hit a double two to extend this final into a tie-break situation. I think he'd put his darts away. He was so convinced McGinney would hit the double 18 and then the double nine. This is as big a double two as he's ever taken aim at. Somebody shouted boo in the crowd. And again, somebody tried to put him off, but he would not be put off. He finds a career double one. A huge start. Ladies and gentlemen, with the score six sets all and two legs all, a reminder the final set must be won by two clear legs. Should the score reach five legs all, the eleventh leg will be sudden death. Fifth leg is Mark to throw first. Came on. Well, would you believe it? Tony? Well, I've been in three finals and I never actually got the chance to have a throw at a double to win oh, it. London. I just I just can't comprehend how Mark's feeling now after missing all them doubles. Two of them. One double eighteen and one double nine for the title. 85. Everybody who's had match darts in a lakeside final, a men's final, 42. has gone on to win the title apart from Mike Gregory in 92. But history means nothing right now. One. It's all about nerve and skill and bottle and desire. Eighty-one. Durant won that last leg with his sixth dart at a double. One hundred and twenty-three. It's all about who can hold it together the best from now on. Darting drama at its absolute finest. Doesn't leave a finish, McGinney. Big chance here for Glenn Durrant to break the throw. Then he'd have the darts. With a chance of closing it out, but only 44. It is a finish, but it's not a good one. Maybe 18s? Yes. 94. Then you acquire 149. Treble 19 for double 16. It's still on. 149. What Can a time to do it! Massive moment in this final. Sinclair gets Glenn to throw first. Came on. Would you believe it? Struggling on his doubles for the last two and a half sets, and suddenly he pulls that out. And now he has the darts. Glenn Durrant. And he's never been closer than this. A leg from defending his title. I've said it before, but that's what world champions do. When the going gets tough, they can pull anything out of the hat. A 1-4-9 finish at this stage, this stage of a final.
and 131 with his first visit here, throwing for the match. These are a little nervier though. 85. Good last start. He's been to the brink before, Mark. We know he's got it in him to bring it back again. 43. Are oh, those darts for the match preying on Mark McGinney's mind? Durant has his swagger back. 135. And it's match point, Dazza, when he returns to the hockey with McGinney nowhere. 50. Susan coming back Thank into the arena. She left the building a moment ago, but this could be the moment for her husband, Glenn. A double 18 for a double 18 for the title. No, but he will be back. Left a lovely double though, double 12 when he comes back, and he definitely will be. McGinney to put some semblance of pressure on that double 12. Well, he can't really. Then you require 24. He's not hit a double 12 in the match so far, but this one is for the title. No. He will be back. But my, it's getting harder. The doubles are getting smaller. 43. Then you require six. Now, does he go straight for it or two double two? Game. He goes straight for the bottom two, of the board. And once again. Glenn Durant is on top of the world of darts. He defends his title after an epic battle with Mark McGinney, the world number one. It's the final we were hoping for, and it is the final we got. Glenn Durant, the champion again, but he had to survive match darts against him. He had to survive an inspired Come back from the gladiator Mark McGinney and somehow Glenn Durham.